overflows understanding is transformation your consciousness can understand and understanding in itself becomes the transformation first it paves the way for transformation and then it becomes transformation when you are angry where is your mind where is your consciousness and where is your morality where is your vows that you have taken so many times that now i am not going to get angry again when anger comes they all simply disappear when anger has moved again to its cave you start repenting those phony fellows have gathered again they start talking condemning and planning for future and again in the future the same will happen when anger will come the shadows will disappear your consciousness right now is just like a shadow it is not real it has no substance in it you can take a vow of celibacy it makes no difference to your sex instincts the sex instincts simply goes underground and when it comes up your vows of celibacy will prove to be made of just very dream like stuff they cannot face the real situation so there are two attitudes you can either suppress sex then you will never go beyond or you can use your sex energy in a creative way not saying no to it but giving it a deep yes not forcing it to go underground but creating a structure above ground with it then you will be a real person it will be difficult obviously that is why we choose the easier path it is easier to have a false structure because nothing is needed only one thing is needed deceive yourself that is all if you can deceive yourself you can create a false a structure very easily nothing will change really but you will go on thinking that everything has changed therefore it is easy to create an illusion to create a reality is a difficult task it is arduous but it is worthwhile because once you have created something with real energies your structure cannot be shattered in any way if sex is ever ground then you can create something out of it for example love if sex is transformed it becomes love sex provides the roots for the flower of love to blossom and your physiology provides the soil for the seed to grow and the blossoming to happen if it is suppressed it becomes a hatred you become afraid of love if you suppress sex a person who has suppressed sex will always be afraid of love because the moment love comes sex will follow naturally love is of the soul and sex is of the body and you are more of a body so love cannot be allowed to happen because then 
sex will follow. It will be just somewhere near by the corner. So a person who has suppressed sex cannot be loving. He may shoot. He may pretend that he is very loving, but he cannot be because he is so afraid. He cannot touch you with a loving hand because the fear is there. The loving hand can any moment turn out to be a sexual touch. So he will be afraid. He will not allow you to touch him. He may create many justifications for it. But the real thing is fear. Fear of the instincts which he has repressed. And he will be filled with hatred because any energy that is repressed reverses itself and goes to its original nature. Sex moves easily towards love and it can. That is a natural flow. If you prevent it, if you create obstruction in its path, it will become hatred. So your so-called moral teachers, if you look deep into them, you will find they are filled with hatred and that is bound to be. It is natural. Sex is hidden there. Any moment it can erupt. They are sitting on a dangerous volcano. If you push, push down the energies, you are just postponing a task. And the more it is postponed, the more difficult it will be. Tantra says, create your life with real energies. And real energies are all animal energies. But when I say animal, there is no condemnation in it. The word animal for me is not con condemnatory as it is for you. The animal is beautiful in itself. The animal in itself is nothing to be condemned. The animal within you represents pure energy, moving according to the laws of nature. Animal within you represents or is pure energy moving according to the laws of nature. It has been asked again and again what should be done consciously. Should we not channel? Should we not control? No. Your consciousness is not to control. Your consciousness is not to channel. Your consciousness can only do one thing. Your consciousness can understand and understanding in itself becomes the transformation. Tantra will say, understand sex, understand this existential bioenergy that is natural. You need not try to channel it. If you do not understand it, every effort is bound to be a failure and harmful. So do not do anything. First understand it and through understanding the path will be revealed. A flower blossoms only when the tree is healthy and tree is healthy when its roots have gone deep into the soil and soil energizes the roots are Soil has the capability to energize the roots and through the roots they are entangled together in a web-like manner and they extract the nutrition from the soil and 
carry it through the capillary system to the plant entire plant and finally it reaches to the flower that blossoms to its full splendor you are not to force your energies on that path through understanding you will come to know the law just like in science what are you doing in science you come to understand a law and a natural mystery is revealed once the natural mystery is revealed you can use the energy creatively without your knowing the inherent law all efforts are bound to be doomed so tantra says understand the animal because in the animal is hidden the potential for your future really it can be said that in the animal god is hidden the animal is your past god is your future but the future is hidden in your past in the seed form the entire flower the plan the everything for the flower the blueprint is hidden in the seed understand whatsoever your natural forces are accept them understand them your mind is not to be there mastering it is not there to control them and fight with them it is there to understand the natural instincts really if you understand them you are using your mind rightly understand sex understand anger understand greed be alert and try to find out their ways how they work what are their functions and be constantly aware of the very movement of these animal instincts within if you can be conscious of these animal instincts there will be no division and you will not have to you will not have an unconscious mind if you can move with these instincts deep within you will have only a conscious mind there will be no unconsciousness the unconsciousness is there because of repression you have closed the major part of your being to consciousness because of fear you cannot look at your own reality you avoid any opportunity that can take you into your animal instincts you are so afraid that you have already moved out of the house you just live on the periphery on the um, the gallery the veranda you never go in because the fear is there if you come to face to face with yourself all your imaginations all your illusions about yourself will fall down and your reality will manifest itself therefore consciousness is understanding just understand and understanding brings transformation enough for now